In this video, we're going to show you how to configure the TP-Link CPE-210 and the CPE-510 models. First step is to go to your control panel. Then we're going to go to network and internet. Then we're going to select the network and sharing center. We're going to go to Ethernet properties, just clicking on the word Ethernet, then go to properties. Then we're going to select Internet Protocol version 4, select properties. Then we're going to set your computer to use the following IP address. Uh, we're going to enter 192.168.0.127. Uh, the subnet mask should populate automatically, but if it doesn't, it's 255.255.255.0. We're going to hit OK, hit Close, and then Close. Then we're going to go to your browser. We're going to enter the IP address. For the antenna, the default IP is 192.168.0.254. The default username and password is going to be admin admin. So all lowercase admin, admin, A-D-M-I-N. We're going to agree to the terms. We're going to hit login. From here, it should prompt you to create your own username and password. So just enter something that you would um, remember. We're going to enter sign city and sign city one, two, three, just as the default. We're going to hit finish and then it should log you into the dashboard of the antenna. Now we're going to go to the quick setup. Uh, there's two options that you're going to be configuring. One antenna is going to be the access point. The second one is going to be the client. Um, typically we put the client on the sign and the access point on the PC. So let's configure the access point first. We're going to change the IP address here to 192.168.1.254 to match the IP address of the sign, which is 192.168.1.128. We're going to create an SSID name. Again, just by default, we're going to use sign city as or network name. You can actually use this network name to log on to the sign wirelessly as well. Um, so we're going to change the security second settings to WPA PSK. And then we're going to create a password. Again, just uh, say, remember the SSID name that you created and uh, save the password. You're going to need these when you're configuring the client. I hit next. From here, we're just going to wait until the antennas refresh. It's now configuring the changes and saving the settings. Once complete, we're going to go back to the control panel. We're going back into the Ethernet settings, going properties, Internet protocol version 4, properties, and we're going to change the IP address to 192.168.1.127 so that we can um, ensure this antenna was configured properly. So we're going back to the browser and then we're going to put that IP address in 192.168.1.254 that we configured previously. We're going to enter the username and password that we created. Again, if you followed us, we use sign city and then um, sign city123 as the password. Okay. All right, perfect. Uh, so you can see that this is, is completely set up. You can see the SSID name there listed as Sign City. We're going to move on and configure the client. 
So one more time, back to the control panel, we're going to the Ethernet properties. Um, if you've lost your steps, it's the control panel, network and internet, and then network and sharing center. And we're going to select Ethernet, Properties, Internet Protocol version 4, Properties. And then we're going to enter the following IP address. So 192.168.0.127, and then hit OK. Hit Close. Then we're going back to, um, to our browser. We're going to enter the default IP address again because this is for a new antenna, 192.168.0.254. So 192.168.0.254. Okay, again, that default username and password is admin admin. Remember, this is a new antenna that we're configuring. We're going to accept the settings. And uh, similar to before, we're going to create a username and password for this one. We can use the same username and password that we used before. We're using Sign City and Sign City123 as our access. Hit finish. Now we're going back to the quick setup. This time we're going to configure the client. Hit next. So before we configure the client as 192.168.1.254, so this time we're going to use 253 for the client. We're going to enter the SSID name that we created before. If you had two adapters and you have both antennas plugged in, you can actually survey and search for the SSID name that you created previously. But in this case, we're going to assume that you only have one. So we're just going to re-enter that SSID name that you entered when you configured the access point. If you followed us, we use Sign City, and the password was um, Sign City123. We're going to hit next and, uh, and finish. Now we're going back to the control panel. We're going to the Ethernet properties and we're going to change the IP address one more time. This time, just changing that zero back to a one. Hit close. Then we'll go back to our browser and um, enter that IP address that we created, which was um, 192.168.1.253. Enter our username and password. And then we're going to log in. OK, perfect. If you had both antennas connected um, using two adapters, you can actually do a ping and uh, check to make sure that they're both communicating. So we can go ping 192.168.1.253. We can see that the one that's connected, the client is responding. Again, if you have the second antenna connected, we can do another search with the 254 and then we could see if the access point is communicating. In this case, we're alternating in between. So um, we're basically done. So that's it. So now you can take your client antenna and connect it to the sign, and then take the access point, connect it to your PC, load the XM player, and you should be able to do a go to control search, and it should find your device. If you have any additional questions or if you need additional assistance, um, please feel free to reach out to us um, by visiting our website at www.ledsciencecity.com. Thank you.